Hello, everybody. Welcome to Building Energy. This is a product promo with NRP Jones. And today we have Joe Koshin. He is the CEO with NRP Jones. And we also have Joe Lark, VP of Business Development. Joe and Joe, welcome to the show. I, I, I guess I'll start here with uh, with uh, Joe Koshin because you're, you're the CEO. Um, maybe just to kick it off, um, a quick uh, overview of what you offer to the, the oil and gas sector. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Roy. You know, we're excited to be here today, uh, yeah, chatting with you and just sharing about the company and the markets we serve, you know, particularly the oil field products. You know, we're uh, an 80 year old company this year. Uh, it's amazing how time flies. I know I obviously I have not been here uh, during a lot of that time, but, uh, you know, quite a foundation in the industry. And, you know, I look forward to, you know, really, you know, Joe uh, Lark is going to speak more to the product side, but we offer quite an array of products, you know, from rotary hose to BOP to handbill hose to the oil field, you know, so it, uh, it, it's a great market uh, and uh, we have a great uh, product offering that really serves them well. Excellent. And then, yeah, over to you, you, Joe, is um, the maybe touch on a little bit more of that longevity that NRP has had in the industry as well. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, we, we got started in uh, 1945, you know, as a, a machining company, really screw machines, you know, focused on uh, those types of products and eventually started to narrow in on, on hydraulic fittings really serving you know larger you know customers white labeling uh not even our own name brand uh and then over the time and over years uh you know we decided that uh hey we're pretty good at this and uh decided that we were going to launch our own name in the market and uh and, and drive down that path um and over the years you know we've we've migrated uh, or not really migrated but added you know, one piece fittings, uh, you know, eventually getting into, you know, hose manufacturing out in uh, Nephi, Utah, you know, everything from, uh, you know, Flex Mandrel and SAE type product, uh, you know, the old uh, 100R1, 100R2, and eventually 16 and 17, so oil field, you know, the products that I just mentioned, you know, and uh, in 2011, uh, we were actually acquired by uh, a private equity firm in Houston, you know, Main Street Capital, that's been just a tremendous partner to the business. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, what's been, you know, interesting is, you know, Main Street's not, uh, isn't, isn't the kind of firm that, uh, you know, has a timeline. You know, they've really invested, you know, for the future and uh, have supported the business over, over several years. I've enjoyed being here. Um, boy, I think about a year and a half now, and uh, you know we've done a lot of fun things. I think we'll probably talk about that later. But um, you know we continue to move the business forward, uh, leveraging you know the foundation that's been built over the last eighty years, and and really creating the the future and vision for for the upcoming years. Okay, that's a great overview. And and Joe Lark, I'll put it over to you. The uh, maybe expand even more on the capabilities with the oil and gas. So you're manufacturing all within the USA then as well? Right. Yes. Yes, we are. In fact, we're only one of two domestic manufacturers of oil field products in this sector. And, um, and obviously it's a very, um, you know, tumultuous uh, industry. It comes and goes and, you know, and and we're kind of setting ourselves up now for that next wave of um, you know of in, increased business. We definitely see a, an uptick in in quoting and and interest in the product line. So it, it's it's um, like I say, we're one of two domestic manufacturers. It really places us well, not only in flexibility and manufacturing at our at our sites. But also setting up um, sub uh, assemblers within the markets where the hoses are used, you know, which really kind of gives us a leg up on the on the markets, especially with all the tariff concerns and and other things going on in the world. So we are really working hard at positioning ourselves to capture the markets. One one question with that too is so obviously there's oil and gas, so you've got like your traditional pipelines, you've got. Um, you, well, you've got offshore too, but like with your hose products as well and the fittings, do you go into like the fracking areas as well? Is that a specialty that you can offer a service in? Yeah, definitely. So all through the processes from the drilling, you know, to the to the fracking, to the to the oil well servicing. I mean, obviously in the fray, there's there's several different stages that go on in the process. 
and and we can participate all along the way you know with with specialty hoses for the you know for all the processes follow-up question to that like you you mentioned you went from white labeling to manufacturing your own product lines and is that when did that start so i know um Joe Koshin, you mentioned like the, I think you mentioned like the rotary hose, the BOP hose, and then you've got like frack hose and hand built hose. So is that all, that's all domestically being made now in the USA? Yes. Yeah. We, you know, you know, starting in 1945, you know, from 45 until, you know, the seventies, it was largely just screw machine type products and, and white labeling. Uh, and it was in the seventies that we decided to launch our own name brand. Uh, and, and yes, you know, we are a domestic manufacturer, you know, we're, we're machining fittings uh, in, uh, in LaPorte, Indiana, uh, on the larger oil field uh, fittings and, and ends, you know, we're partnering with domestic manufacturers, you know, here in the United States and on the, uh, the oil field hose, you know, we're making those, uh, those products out in Nephi, uh, Utah. And I, I want to say, you know, if anybody wants to come visit, it's a great visit to Nephi and then we'll head up north uh, to Salt Lake City and, and look for some snow to play in. Uh, it, uh, it's a great area to have a have a business and uh, to have some meetings. You heard that, viewers. Uh, make sure you contact them and set that up. Um, the, uh, the, the other thing, too, I wanted to touch on is so obviously w- with that manufacturing capabilities, are you looking at potentially like new products and development as well that will be coming down like uh, in the pipeline? Is that is that something that's uh, in the process, too? It's just always it's always interesting if there's if there's new new products that you're potentially launching into the market space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and that, and that's a great point. I'm glad that you brought it up. So most of our leadership team is is new to the company, even though I've been dealing with NRP Jones for about 37 years with other jobs that I had. And one of our, our goals right now is that, you know, it's an 80 year old company that needs to be refreshed, right? So we're working very hard on rebranding and really reintroducing NRP Jones to the markets. And, and really it's, it's getting great reception out there. Okay. You know, we're just kind of shining it up and, and, and bringing it into the 21st century. Mm-hmm. But we, you know, we are, you know, part of that, you know, and, and Joe just to, uh, you know, and we, we do have new product development. Um, we've got uh, a couple things that uh, both we're working on as well as we've actually done some some field application testing and we're quite excited about it. You know, I think we'll we'll leave it. We'll leave the excitement, uh, you know, out there and let people wonder yeah. what could that be. <laughs> um, but uh, it's coming and, and we're, we're pretty excited about it. We think it's going to really change um, some of the product lines, applications and, and functions out in the out in the oil field. I was going to mention too. So obviously, huge, huge oil and gas market there in the USA. Are you also are you seeing opportunities in like the Middle East as a growing hub? Like, like is, do you service worldwide with your products too? We do. Um, you know, I'll, I'll add a little bit, and then Joe can expound um, as as he'd like. But we definitely, you know, are, are shipping overseas. You know, both uh, whether it's the Middle East. Uh, to the African coast, the Caribbean, uh, into the Philippines, you know, our, our product and our name is, is, is quite well known. And we're, we're regularly servicing, you know, those markets through, uh, through partners. Yeah, but I mean, we're we're seeing a little influx in uh, in RFQ activity, definitely out of the other markets, you know, globally. Excellent. The uh, before before we wrap, I did want to touch up, like, so to going going through on the on your specific hose hose lines as well. I know you get into fittings too. Just maybe give the viewers if they're they're watching for the first time. But it, just an overview of like the rotary hose, the BOP hose, the frack hose. I mean, that that name sort of stands out for itself. And then the hand built hose. Maybe uh, uh, Joe Lark, I'll put it over to you first. And then if, if uh, Joe, you have anything to add. Sure. So the, the, the type of hose that goes into the oil industry are, I mean, it's a real select group of hose, mm-hmm. you know, specifically designed and manufactured around the processes that uh, that they're being used for. You know, so you have the BOP, you have 
mud hose, you've got rotary hose. So everything is part of a system that goes onto the oil rigs and into the fracking rigs. So we're pretty well rounded in our offering with with all the, um, you know, the different needs that the market has. Yeah, I, I would agree with Joe. It's well said and, and described. You know, I'll add, you know, we also, you know, clearly offer, you know, hydraulics, you know, whether it's, you know, two wire spiral, uh, you know, we have a full solution, you know, for the oil field, you know, so whether it's the specialty products or, or your, your typical two wire and spiral type hose products, um, we offer the complete package. Excellent. And so for anybody that wants more information on those specific products, what would be the best, um, it, what's the best avenue to contact you? We'll obviously put like your website and your, your LinkedIn information, um, mm-hmm. in, in this episode, but, um, is it, is it best to kind of check out the website and then, and then email about the specific things or what's the best way? I, yeah, that's a great question. Cause I can talk about our new website. You nice. know, we've spent the last year and a half, you know, really, you know, uh, you know, focusing on driving, you know, on moving the business forward. Um, so whether it's the the new brand, uh, the new website, etc., uh, you know, we feel it's it's a much easier uh, and friendly friendlier website to use. So go to our website. Uh, we also have forms for anybody that's interested. Uh, they can uh, they can put in their information, their critical information there, and we'll reach right out to them. Uh, you know, they can also, uh, you know, send an email to sales at nrpjones.com. And we have a tremendous customer care team uh, that will reach out to them uh, as well. So we have a number of ways, you know, for our current and future partners to reach out to us and uh, and ask for solutions and, and input and, uh, and, and, and really drive and, and support that curiosity. Fantastic. Um, any any closing remarks or anything for this? But it's been great to have you on on this building energy product promo. But any any uh, closing thoughts from either one of you um, as we as we wrap it up? Yeah, I, I think you know Rory, it's it's a great you know great time uh, you know to spend with you and and uh, definitely appreciate the opportunity. Uh, you know, I just you know leave it uh, and and Joe can uh, can wrap up or, or add add his uh, thoughts as well. But you know, NRP Jones is a company that's that's moving forward uh, as as a company. You know, we're you know we're moving, we're looking, um, and we're developing our, our future. And you know, that's important as we as we uh, you really make sure that our partners and the markets look to us as not somebody that that was there, but we're that we are there and we're going to be there in the future. And uh, it's exciting. We're continually looking for ways of, of getting better, of listening and, and ensuring that we're providing the solutions that we're out in front of the customer. And that's what's going to continue to to really make sure that, you know, we continue to be a, a pivotal part of the, the fluid conveyance industry and the oil and gas market. Great. And uh, any anything closing for uh, you, Joe, as well? Yeah, I mean, that's that's very well said. And I just uh, want everybody to to um, to follow us and look at the good things that we're doing in the market. You know, I, I'm excited about it. The team's very excited and we have a renewed energy on the team, you know, to take us to the next level. So I really appreciate your time and the and the attention. Yep. Love it. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Building Energy. You can subscribe on YouTube, follow Building Energy on LinkedIn, obviously follow NRP Jones on LinkedIn and and visit their website. And we will see you next time on the show. Thank you, everybody.